fishing today at the lake with uh, David and like in the lake off a nice wall cast it out about a minute later he got a bite and he got this nice little drum it's about a foot long I'm also right it's not that big but it's, it's a nice size yeah, I just on night crawler and then on my big pole right there the catfish one I have a uh, five inch creek chub and now Dave is gonna release it All right. take it careful I got it ready now watch him go yeah let him go It'll be Oh. And he's gone. So we're going to get into some more of those because they're everywhere. And hopefully some bigger ones. That's just a small guy. He left some scale. Yeah, he did. So let's get into some more fish. Okay, guys. So it's my turn. With drum slash sheep head, whatever you want to call it, number two. I'm going to get him released. And he's gone. It's a great day of fishing. It's like bite after bite after bite. guys now it's back to me got another little drum try to get the hook in his mouth my hand in his mouth there we go it's another nice little guy gonna release him now and ooh, gone now I'm gonna get to some more fish okay guys okay guys and now this is something different I caught a little white poach, maybe about 8 inches. They're invasive here in Lake Erie. Those two died. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna release them. I'm gonna get them out of the bait bucket so they don't kill the other fish too. Give me another oxygen. A couple little ones somehow stayed on. And this is a decent size. Don't really want to release them. You shouldn't release them if, you look, if you're in the United States. In Lake Erie, Great Lakes. So let's get some more fish. Okay guys, so David just caught something pretty big for its species. My hand for comparison. A nine inch white poach. That's a big one. Food. Oh, it's fat, really fat. I'd say quarter of a pound. That's big. Good job, David. He's not going back. We're going to eat him. Or David's going to eat him. Okay, guys. It's been a little while since we got some. I just had a huge drum, but he came off somehow. So I got this big bluegill instead. I got one, too. David got one, too, but I didn't record his because I didn't think it was that big. This isn't that big. It's just a nice 8 inch. Release him. Here's the rig. It's just a little poach rig. That one has a cut chub on it, and now we're going to get some more fish. Okay guys, so I got another um, big bluegill. This one's like seven quarter pound-ish. Here we go. Whoop, and he's good. Sorry if that music's distracting. I like it. Let's get some more fish. Hopefully a big drum. Hey guys, just jigging up a little worm over there and I just I caught this nice 13 inch bass. His flops a lot. Rinse him off a little bit. There we go. And I was gonna go back. And he's gone. Let's get some more fish. Okay guys, so I just caught another nice little bluegill. Probably about seven inches. We're gonna get him released. And we're gonna get gonna get into some more fish. Hopefully some big fish. Over a foot like the bass, maybe bigger, like the drum. It's gone. Let's get more fish. Okay, guys. I, oh, God. Oh, Whoops. Okay, this guy's this guy's probably eight inches. He's a nice big male bluegill. In Lake Erie. Let's get him back in and get some more bigger fish. Foosh. Next. Hey, guys. I was just bottom fishing with uh, some cut bait. And I happened... Ow! These things bite hard. Happened to catch this large... It's a brown bullhead. David just got back with the worms. Who uh, he got a yes. It's a nice big brown bullhead. He might be dinner. Nice and fat, fat. Good size. Good size to eat. Whew. He fought really good. So let's get some more fish. Hey guys. So just caught another little bass right here. 
like nine, ten inches, I'm back. Next fish. Okay, guys, I'm jigging up and down with a worm on a, a one ounce, I think, sinker. And a size four hook and a worm again. Still at the beat lake. Got another nice large mouth. Let's get into some more fish. Guys, David just caught this nice bass, foot long, about a pound in weight, nice and thick. I'm gonna get him, after David gets a picture of him, we're gonna get him released. So here comes David to take his picture. My hands are wet, handling the fish with wet hands. Sit down fish. Get your picture, hurry up. Got his picture, now we're gonna release it. Here we go. And he's gone, completely unharmed, back into the water. So let's get some more fish, guys. And another thing, we've been catching these white perch a lot today, and they're invasive up here, so we're just killing them. We're putting them in water, so a bird or some can eat them. So the big ones, which are these two, like nine inches, uh, I guess I'll just take them home and eat them because they're not bad. So that's how we're doing. Still bottom fishing. Got one with a um, pole shiner that was beat up by something. There's one we're putting on. And then this one, this pole just has some uh, night crawler on it. And that's all we're doing. Simple. So let's get some more fish. Okay, guys, just as things are starting to look down, I get this nice uh, freshwater drum. Or, actually, it's pretty small. Let me get the tape. Fish Ohio is 22 inches, just nowhere near it, maybe 14 at most. Okay, I was an inch off, he's 15. Look at that. Nice drum, let's get him back. And there's a dead one. There. I like to throw them face down so the water goes in their gills. Hope he. Oh god. Come on, you can do it. You can. Do, I believe in you. Well, he's kind of floating, but if he dies, I'll eat him. They're not that bad. I believe in him. I'll tell you in the video if he lives or not. Okay guys, so David was fishing with a goby as bait, and he just caught 16 inch, 2 pound largemouth bass. This is a huge bass for by us and Lake Erie, which is heavily fished. So we're gonna get him back in the water and release. Oh god, David, take the fish, I got a fish. I don't need any more. Yeah, careful. Ready? Yeah, it's carefully, uh, kinda, yeah. There he goes. Yeah, and he's good, which is good. Now I gotta go take my fish. Fish. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is my, or what, the, the perch I'm taking. Uh, just a bunch of nine inches and this small one, because why not? I was just gonna kill them anyway, because they're invasive, so I might as well get some food out of them. They're not too, not too skinny. Got some meat. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. I got, yeah, I got cool. a drum. Cool. I don't know if you saw that, but I just had a freaking drum. Like a big drum. Whatever. I'll get him again. Let's put the fish in the bucket. Like, it was like rod bent in half. It was nice. I don't know. I think you saw it. Whatever. We'll try to get him. And if we do, I'll put him in. So that's all for today. Goodbye. Well, okay, guys. David just caught this enormous white, white perch. perch. Enormous. This is like 11 inches. Yeah. Thick. He. I'm eating this guy too. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm to the collection. Oh. Hang on. Let me get a picture. I'm, uh, if he stops moving. So look at him. Not a white bass. White perch. They're invasive in America or Great Lakes, I should say. Not America. We'll put him in the bucket and get some more fish. 
Hey guys, welcome back. And today, fishing at Lake Erie again. We got this nice largemouth bass, 13 and a half inches, probably about a pound. And David just caught this little white butch. We're gonna use him as bait, and we're gonna get Mr. Largemouth back into the water. So he has a bunch of stuff on him. He's flopping around. Yep. He's trying to handle them carefully. But oh, oh no. Carefully. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, he'll make it. I believe in him. And so that was the, my second fish of the day, and my first fish is right here. David, pull this up. Actually, I got it. Okay. I'm gonna eat him. He's a um, upside down. 16 inch freshwater drum. People say they're, they're disgusting, they're bad, they're not really. They eat minnows and uh, clams. And worms. And, and, and worms. They, don't, they eat basically the same thing as bass, pretty much. They're not really dirty. And I tried them once. They taste like fried chicken. Almost exactly like it. I recommend eating them. So, that's all, that's all for it's right now. US Coast Guard. US Coast Guard. Sweet. So, let's get some more fish. Yeah. Okay, hey guys. So, I just caught this, uh... Freshwater drum. So I measured him 24 inches. So uh, this uh, tide fish. Actually, this is the longest fish I ever caught. It's also the biggest fish I ever caught. At David, back up a little bit. Fish. Yeah. At um, what is it? Five pounds, ten ounces. That is monster. Big one. I don't know if he's gonna make it, guys. I just put him back in the water, and he wasn't looking too good. Oh. If he dies, I'll keep him. But put him back. <sighs> that's a nice fish. Let's get some more. Okay guys, getting ready to release him. He is revived. I'm very happy now. I didn't think he was going to make it at first. He's doing good. I'm going to get a couple pictures of him in the water. Then I'm going to carefully, without pulling him out, unhook him and get him, get him back. Okay guys, I just caught this, uh, it's probably a 10 inch white perch. I'm going to put him on the stringer. Get some more fish. It's a deep, pretty decent size. Okay, guys, David just caught something. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to chill him out so he doesn't. He just caught this nice little, that's about a 10 inch bass. Now we're gonna get him released. Wanna do it, David? Sure. Go. Go. Safe and sound. Let's get another one. Yeah, let's get another one. I just caught a little goby, so I put him on for bait. I'm hoping to get either a big bass or drum. Or maybe, maybe, if we're lucky, a walleye. Okay guys, just caught this largemouth bass, gonna get him back in the water, and he's good. And then, I caught this insanely large goby, that's like, six inches. Super fat, that'll get a nice bass or something. Use him as bait, let's get some more fish. Hey guys, just caught this nice uh, 12 and a half inch bass, he's really fat though. So, now we're gonna get him back, he's really feisty and aggressive. And he's gone. Let's get some bigger fish. Or some more fish. And hopefully bigger. Let's get them. Hey guys, so that's all for today. I'm just taking these two white perch. This is about nine and a half ten. This is about eight and a half nine inches. I'm gonna take those, eat them, because we're just killing them anyway. A nice, calm ish day on the lake. It was a great day today. Caught a lot of fish. Big ones. Because I got a new rig on my, uh, or a new setup on my, um, rod with the mono. So, the mono doesn't snap every time. It's very nice now. So I can get those big, big fish. <coughs> so that's all for today. Good luck. I mean, yeah, good luck. Good fishing and goodbye.